My name is Manuel Abramovich. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I'm the director of Blue Boy. Bună ziua, poliția cu tare, nu știu ce. Actele la control? De unde e bănește? Păi, sunt escort. Escort? Și faci toată să banca escort? De ce nu? Toată noaptea stau pe clienți? De ce n-aș face? Nu prea te cred. Îți dau vreun motiv să nu mă crezi? Și ai avut vreo plângere în legătură cu mine? Hai la secție. Stai puțin, de ce mă la secție? Cu ce motiv? Să vedem în legătură cu banii, dacă ai vreo plângere sau ceva. Ok, mergem la poliție. Și ce o să rezolvăm? Nu o să rezolvăm nimic, doar timp pierdut. Și eu la fel, o să-mi plătiți drumul, o să vă dau un ștecat. Da, da, hai. Hi, welcome to the 33rd Teddy Award. I am John Borbobak and I'm about to have a conversation about the short film Blue Boy with the director Manuel Abramovich. Hi, welcome to the Teddy. Hi, thank you. Um, <laughs> your film deals with uh, male-to-male sex work. Um, what drew you to this topic? What was the, the impetus for, for this whole project? Uh, the very beginning, I, I came to Berlin just to visit some friends. And usually, when I, when when I have a first idea for a project, it's always because it's like something that comes to me. It's not mm -hmm. that I'm looking or yeah. writing. And in this case, uh, my friend told me about this bar uh, in in the gay area of of Berlin. In yeah. And we went there to to have a drink, and I was very curious because it was almost like. It was very theatrical uh -huh. in the way that the, um, it, it looked like the typical Berlin uh, bar. Yeah. But then I started to understand all these dynamics between the clients and the, the sex workers. And I was very curious about these young Romanian men who, who they were kind of building up a character to be sex workers in, in that bar. So they used to go to each client and to introduce themselves. And sometimes they were changing their names every night. Mm. And they, they were creating a little story to, like strategies to, to have the, 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 the clients. Yeah. So I was, yeah, at the, be, at the very beginning, I, I wanted to play a bit with these roles. Uh, the client, the sex workers, but also the, myself as, as a filmmaker and also the audience. So I wanted to create a, an experiment somehow and uh -huh. to, to play with these roles. Yeah. I mean, then let's talk about the concept of your film because I, I thought that it was very interesting. So it basically starts off with this contract um, read aloud. Um, that you made with, uh, with the participants of the, of the movie. Um, and then basically we see your subjects um, listening to what they said previously about their experiences as, as sex workers mm -hmm. in, in that particular uh, bar. And I felt that it draws a lot um, on this whole idea of exploitation and vulnerability um, for, for sex workers and um, yeah I was I was just really wondering um, what did you want to express exactly with this way of constructing the narrative yeah I mean first uh, for me it's very important in documentary to to remind all the time that even if we are working with real people and the real world, uh, it's very important to remind and to highlight that it's always a construction. I mean, it's always a fiction. There's always full of decisions that we make as filmmakers. And it's always my version of this bar, my version of them. Yeah. And so I really like that. That's very interesting to me because um, 
I mean, I cannot make a film called documentary without uh, expressing that everything is constructed and, right. and the world somehow it's, it's a big fiction yeah. for me. So I wanted to play, but also especially in sex work, I mean, the rules are very strict. Someone pays, someone is paid, mm. and there is like a contract or a non-spoken contract. Yeah. Sometimes uh, they agree on a price and then it happens. So for me, it was very important to play a bit with these rules of sex yeah. work and to, to, um, to put them together also with the rules of the film. Yeah. So we have the rules of the documentary and we have the rules of the sex work. And yeah, I wanted to, to play with that and to be somehow in the place of a client. I was paying them yeah. uh, not for, for having sex, yeah, but to share, to their, share their intimacy, to share their stories and also to hear themselves and to take some distance from their, their character or the, the right. character they play. Yeah. And to, yeah, I wanted to see how, how they react to hear their own stories. Yeah. I think it's interesting that you say that as a filmmaker, it was, um, it was an experiment for you as well. And it was important for you to sort of challenge these norms or traditional ways of documentary filmmaking. Um, and uh, I think what what came to my mind uh, based on that is that it also leaves the audience in a in an insecure place sort of um, because you keep on wondering to like what extent is this performance from the side of of uh, of, of the people who take part in it uh, obviously it's edited that the sound is edited on on them listening to it and then you kind of keep on questioning um, yeah there are the, where is this line between documentary and, and fiction? Yeah, I'm happy you, you say that because for me, I mean, I really like, I think filmmaking is about uh, going out of the, so, of the comfort zone. And I mean, as a spectator, I, I like to go to, to watch a film and, and to feel awkward, yeah. to feel that this film is inviting me to, to question the world and to, mm. to to create questions and to, to criticize reality and the world where we live, uh, which is very unfair. So I really like, um, I mean, it's, it's very, very important to me to, to create something in the audience, in the spectator. Yeah. And, and I, I, I always feel, at, at least I try, that the audience needs to complete the film somehow. Mm -hmm. and, that's why this film in particular is, is so direct. It's they are looking at you, and you yeah. are looking at them, and there is this uh, awkwardness. Uh, yeah, definitely. As as they look back at you somehow, like it's not a very traditional way of of showing sex workers or, or representing um, sex workers. It, I think um, for many people it could be a yeah, an awkward and maybe intimidating, uncomfortable situation mm. to look to look these guys in the eye in a way. I think that's great because life is very intimidating and yeah. very awkward and very difficult. So um, I think it's 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 interesting for everyone to to have the opportunity to look at other people and to be on their skin and. Yeah, to think that sometimes we are in our role in society or in the world because we were, we were born like this, yeah. but we could be other. Right. We could be another person and it's nice to take some minutes to be on, on the skin of another person. Yeah. <laughs> what I found particularly moving in, in a weird way uh, in the film is that most of the people that you talk to, um, they really strongly emphasize their heterosexuality <laughs> and that this whole homosexual sex acts that they get paid for is part of a performance and they sort of detach themselves uh, from that. And one character in particular or one 
uh, interviewees said that I couldn't be a faggot in the movie. So it's it's really something that that they sort of condemn, but at the same time, this is what they elevate into their daily life as a performance to make a living. And I thought that was a very interesting um, inner conflict for them. So what, what was your take on that when you talked to, to these guys? Um, this, that line about I couldn't be a faggot, for yeah. me it's really important because it says something about uh, I mean, politics and society, like, he couldn't be really a faggot in Romania because it's really difficult to be gay in Romania. Um, I mean, that's in one level, on one level, but then there's, like, different uh, levels of... I mean, we are, we are all playing a character in life, at yeah. least uh, that's what I think. Um, they, they make their living uh, playing with these characters. Uh, at night, uh, they are gay in this bar, and they, they, their name is Ricardo, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But then they have a completely different life in Romania. Sometimes they have children, they have a family, they are straight, they yeah. have another passion. Yeah. And I think that's something that we all do, somehow. Yeah, to a certain level, for uh, sure. In, in, in the case of these this boys, it, it's very, their lives are very split and this is very strong because they really need to be so professional playing this, uh, in this performance. Uh, I mean, with this, and I think it's very difficult also. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm very proud of them in the, in the, in the sense of that they, they really need to split their lives to make their living. And it's also their choice. For me, it was very important in this film to, um, to see them from another point of view because we have a lot of prejudices uh, about like sex workers or like... And I mean, sex work is a work, it's a job. Yeah. Um, I mean, in some, somehow it's something that they are choosing. Yeah. Of course, there is a whole context and I'm not sure if they can really choose that, that this is their best mm -hmm. option, but they are choosing this job. Uh, each of them has their own reason. Um, yeah, they play with these uh, yeah. options and these, these characters. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, in a way, the film fits with other documentary or documentary-like um, films as well, which detail the lives of um, sex workers in Western Europe. And very often we see that a majority, a really big majority of these sex workers, regardless of male to male or male to female, female to male uh, sex workers, um, are coming from Eastern Europe. And in your movie as well, um, it becomes quite explicit that these are all like Romanian uh, boys. So I was wondering, I don't know how deep you got into into this world of the blue boy, um, but uh, did you see this tendency as well, that it's like a lot of Eastern European um, guys coming and, and and they are offering yeah, sex and their bodies for for a Western... I mean, I'm not an expert right. about sex yeah. work in Berlin, yeah. but this is a particular, like a small market, I would say, mm -hmm. that yeah. it's in like the gay area of Schöneberg. Yeah. And it's like really two streets where three or four bars okay. uh, are about, and everyone know that uh, is, this is the meeting point between these Eastern European uh, boys and the, the clients. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of other uh, taste and markets in Berlin, uh, but in particular in this, in those bars, it's mostly uh, Eastern European uh, boys, ma mainly from from Romania and Bulgaria. Yeah, um, there is a big exposure on these guys in the movie. So, a question for me was, what sort of um, ethical considerations you had when when you started to work on this project? 
For me, it's really important to, to um, first, like to be based on this respect to the mm -hmm. characters, not, yeah. not only for this film, but in general, like mm -hmm. for me, it's really, I mean, my work is, is based on, on this trust between yeah. myself and the protagonists. I always choose very, let's say, difficult subjects mm -hmm. or delicate. Yeah. And for me, it's, it's, it's very important to be very clear from the beginning with them, to, to set up the rules of the film, what we are going to do, if, of course, it's a, just an invitation. They, they, they want to do it, or sometimes they, they, they don't. Like in this film, many, many guys said no. Yeah. And then it's, it's very important to, to keep this respect, uh, the respect to them uh, until the end of the film. Yeah. And I mean, even though if we think that it's delicate or difficult subjects, usually people really want to share their lives and their mm -hmm. intimacy, especially if it's um, like a game somehow. Yeah. Like this film, it was like an invitation to play a game and to hear themselves yeah. and to react and to take distance from the characters they play every day. Um, and then my, my basic rule is to show the film to the protagonist once it's finished before uh -huh. sharing it with the, with the audience. Yeah. So that's, and with that, I know that I, I, I can be sure and calm yeah. that I can show the, fil the film to other people because they uh, agree yeah, with the film. Yeah, I see. And then, of course, it's delicate. We can have a lot of um, polemical thoughts about mm. the film, but I know that they, they, they saw the film and they, they are okay with that. Yeah. And what, do, what is it that you would like audiences to take away after, after watching this? Well, I don't know if, if you really want to call it a documentary because it's so challenging towards the genre as well, but... But yeah, what, what, do you, what would you like if the audience would take away from you? I think yeah. it's a bit what we said before about the, this, like being in the role of other, mm -hmm. other people. Uh, first of all, to be, I would like the audience to be, it, it sounds very bad, but to, to be awkward mm -hmm. for 20 minutes. Yeah, no, I think that's a legit and wish. <laughs> to, to remember, so, sometimes we forget, but to remember that, I mean, uh, we are, a certain person, but we, we could have been another person. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, to, to be in the skin of, 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 of another person, to be a client for 19 minutes, yeah. a sex, sex worker, to, yeah, to be in, in, in the role of a client, but also to be in, in to experience the role of being a sex worker and to be ex a filmmaker also, why not? Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you, Manuel, for, you. for joining <laughs> us and, and for this interview. I wish you all the best and a lot of fun and a lot of great experiences at the Berlinale. And then I hope that we see each other soon again. Great. Thank you. Vielen Dank. <laughs>